Not everyone is a friend, except with caution. According to internetsafety101.org, online sex offenders love Facebook just as much as you do. 65% of sex offenders use social media to gain homeworks and school information of their victims. 82% gain, gain information such as their victims' likes and dislikes. And 26% gain information as to where and when their victim will be somewhere. According to CNN.com, 8.7% of active monthly users on Facebook are either duplicate or false accounts. Of that 8.7, 14.3 million have been determined um, to have been created specifically for reasons that go against uh, Facebook's intention, which means they're dangerous. Anybody can create a fake Facebook page. I know this because I did. It was not Facebook, it was MySpace, but in 2007, my two best friends and I were held up at gunpoint. We chased the guys that robbed us and two out of the three were caught. The gunman that had a gun pointed at my side got away, and that's not something I can live with. I became obsessed with finding him. So, we resorted to social media. After about a week of trying to find him, we found a profile that looked just like him, but his page was private. So, we found the prettiest Colombian model we could find online, and we created a fake profile page. He accepted our request. Within minutes, I had access to his government name, where he worked, I noticed that we had friends in common, and ultimately I found out where he lived. Within a week of me accessing his, face, his MySpace page, he was arrested and is currently serving 10 years. Just as easily as I was able to have access to his page and gain all that information, criminals can do the same to us. Today we're going to discuss why you should, be cho why you should choose your friends on Facebook wisely, what you should do with questionable requests, and what will happen if you, don't um, if you don't choose your friends wisely. First, we're gonna discuss why you should be careful with who you have on your Facebook. According to zonalarm.com, cyber criminals can obtain all the information they need by just accessing your webpage. That means you could be a victim of identity theft, an online predator, or cause serious harm to your computer by getting a virus. Why be careful? KTLA reported Jackson Roland Westermeyer. He posed as a woman to allure young boys into sending them him child pornography. He said to have had over 100 victims, aging from the rate, ranging from the age of 15 down to 11. Peter Chapman posted as a teenage boy. He's a 33 two-time rapist. He lured, kidnapped, and raped a 17-year-old girl. Don't ignore the facts. Dailymail.com posted that a crime linked to Facebook is reported to the police every 40 minutes. That means in the amount of time that we've been in this room, at least two to three reports have been reported. Last year, officers logged over 12,000 alleged offenses involving Facebook. And Facebook was referenced in investigations such as murder, rape, child sex offenses, assault, kidnap, death, and witness uh, intimidation and fraud. Next, we're going to discuss how you can protect yourself against questionable requests. Net Security said, always be skeptical. Only accept friend requests from people that you know and avoid duplicate accounts. If you already have Billy Smith as a friend on Facebook and now you get a friend request from Billy Smith, verify that that in fact is his page. CNET.com said protect your account. Use privacy settings to make sure that people that are not your friends on Facebook cannot see what it is that you're doing. And avoid checking into locations. That tells people where you are and when. Next, we're going to discuss what can happen if you are not cautious. It's going to increase the number of online victim statistics. You're going to have loss of personal information. You can be vulnerable to becoming a victim. And you're going to constantly be questioning the intentions of the person behind the other monitor. Let's recap. Today we discussed why you should be cautious with who you have as a friend on Facebook, what to do to prevent questionable requests, and what can happen if you're not cautious. This is Ashley Hall. She's a 17-year-old victim that we discussed. She lost her life 
because she was not cautious on Facebook. She believed the person typing was who they said that they were. This is Alicia. She was kidnapped at the age of 13 and 10 years later lives to tell her story. Let's learn from their stories. Let's not, not let what happened to these women happen in vain. Their stories can help protect us. Allow it to. Thank you.